This ain't over. What are you doing in my house with a shotgun? I think he's kind of been thinking about this for a long time. He'd see a shot and be like, hey, whoever the director is, what about maybe going this way and I'll come out of here instead of going out? The director would be like, oh, that's great. Let's do it. We'll lose him a little bit. And that's when we move in. It was a natural progression for him. I'm excited to see what he does with the show. Swell like that will burn a hole in your soul. Sorry. My soul. The episode takes place right after the finale of season five. And as you recall, that guy has my soul. And I figure it's about time he gave it back. Cut! It's a lot of pressure with directing, and especially when you've never done it before, to do it on such a grand stage. Okay, flame test, guys. Watch out. This can be a very difficult show to shoot on the fly. you got to do your homework and got to have a plan. No! Oh! I want Crowley's name now! We've got actors playing with live fire. We've got actors pretending to burn when they're not burning. We've got a lot of things that we're working with. I am, I am the actor now. Oh, I'm the actor yeah, From a director's standpoint, the only act I really had trouble with is myself. What happened to us over and blessed by a priest? It didn't pan out. Wow, that seemed pretty rocky over there. Well, it'll be better, okay? <laughs> it is difficult not being able to watch the scene take place. Luckily, I'm not that heavy in this episode, so I've been able to stick behind the monitors quite a bit. Oh, yeah, with a little smoke. He's been on all 100-plus episodes, so he brings a wealth of knowledge that no other director can bring to the show. One of my esteemed actors. Steam Diane. So <laughs> a director that's been an actor is always going to be different. It's a lovely feeling when you know that somebody has that empathy for you. Well, I don't really have any advice for it. I need more love scenes, but that's really a writer's thing. <laughs> this was actually kind of the one scene that I was the most nervous about because it's the big action sequence of the episode. Cut it! That was great. <laughs> Moving on. But as an actor on the show, I've always really enjoyed the action scenes myself, so directing them was even more fun. You don't see this stuff on Grey's Anatomy. That finishes Jensen Asshole's off with directing. I think he did a tremendous job. He's my favorite director so far. We present you with the snake. Wow. Thanks, guys. Yeah, let's go. I can't wait till Jared has a go.